Pizza time. Yo, yo. Choo, choo. Another one. You gotta say it My money don't wiggle, wiggle. It, it what, but what is the? I I know that that's TikTok thing. Where yeah. the fuck did that come from? I saw the original clip. It was some like guy. I don't know what he's doing, but I saw. He, he, there's no beat behind it. He was just like I think someone asked him of like, do you have like a rhyme or something or like a rap or something? And, just, and, just and it's that. some old guy. I don't know who it is, but he does. He pulls out that rhyme out of nowhere, and it sounds good. So My money don't wiggle, wiggle. It but folds. The to- the music that is always like used in the TikTok videos. That Somebody has, turned di- it yeah, into okay, a beat. Like, that's like a digital, but it's also like they digitize like the voice. Yeah. No, no. It's like that's it's how it that sounds. Guy, yeah, that's it how it sounds. sounds. Like, it sounds, it like, sounds like, like a those, series. Like, uh, yeah. Like, like a, male series. Yeah. This uh-huh. podcast started off hot, dude. I love it. I love the energy. Oh, it is we've episode been, we've been riffing now for 81. Yeah, Sitting dude, we just hour. sat down. We just hit the record button. We haven't <laughs> been talking at all before this podcast starts. Yeah. No, I have a whole podcast Ooh, that we recorded. Word about we didn't already do a pre-podcast, but we're here. We're here for episode 81. And our guest this week is returning all the way back from episode 32. Damn. Long time wait. Oh, I should have waited one more episode. To get a nice fifty in between there. Nope, nope. We always bring people back after forty nine episodes. Forty nine episodes. That's what we do. Because you know what we say: if you haven't been back after fifty, then you're then never you're going back. Dead to us. You're dead to us. You're, you're never dead back. to us. So Good sorry, advice. Paul. We. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, he lives out of all in people, Maine, he actually makes no. the most sense to not come back. He yeah. lives in Maine. He lives in Maine. He lives in Maine. Why wouldn't he we'll do? make an exception for Paul, but the rest yeah. of you sucks to suck. The rule. Our guest this week, Who's Ian. On the watch list. To, like, hey, you might be cut soon. <laughs> Yeah, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it where your episode was. <laughs> that list is tight. Get the cutoff. All right, Ian, you're in the studio, man. Welcome back. It's an actual studio now. I, it is an actual studio. Well, still well okay. It's it still just a room in my house, but, um, you know, we're not just sitting on a couch. You know, last time you were on, we, you, we did have video. We did a yeah. video. But the video is like better now. This We have a table. The lighting is improved. The lighting's improved. We're chilling, dude. Sean, you got something to say? Yeah, because I called this a bedroom. Said no, it's just a room. And what? At what? What differentiates a bedroom from just like a bonus room? Or just a room. A bed. <laughs> no, but you're on. But if you're uh, if I'm your posting this, on like Zillow, it yeah, says like three bedroom. This is considered a bedroom. There, but I feel like they don't say be, two bedrooms and a room. What if it doesn't have a closet? It's still considered a bedroom. Then how oh, come sometimes know. how come sometimes on like listings they'll say like two bedrooms plus bonus room? What's find me a listing room? that says that. Yeah, find that I, listing, I don't Sean. Want to fucking look at houses right now. Hey, real me. estate agent. Let That's the know. new podcast. That's our new podcast. <laughs> Welcome hot, to Azillo My Life. Hot real estate. Nice. We look at houses and just discuss them, talk about them, yeah. and then never buy them. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good podcast. Just house house discussions. <laughs> It'd be good if we were like real estate agents. They'd actually not be like honestly any real estate agents out there start a podcast and like just start reach talking out about- to us about starting a podcast. We'll produce your yeah, podcast. Right, right. Don't want to give away our ideas. My bad. And we'll talk. Trademark. We'll talk the financial trademark. Trademark. This trademark. Podcast trademark. Trademark. Ideas. Trademark. Yeah. Actually, just don't forget it. Cut this whole thing just out. Edit, that's edit, our edit, idea. Edit cut, that cut, a little cut, bit. Cut. 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 That's all. That's no. That's ours. <laughs> that's ours for sure. That's ours. We're realtors now. Um, no, we uh, so we had Heather on the last episode. We got a couple good viewer emails. Was that forty nine episodes after the last time Heather was on? No, she was never in Jeopardy. Speaking, of, <laughs> yeah, Heather would not, <laughs> never be in Jeopardy. Oh, you, you can't be on anymore. Someone who hasn't been on in forty one episodes now. Callie sent us an email oh, saying cool. that um, we didn't. Emoji here. We didn't. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, watch out. Watch, watch out. This. No, Callie uh, messaged us and she said we didn't let uh, Heather talk enough. I blame Heather. <laughs> Heather also, I, just for reference on this too, so he- that was Heather's fourth appearance? Yes. She refuses, refuses to listen to the other three episodes, yet claims that her last episode was the best episode ever. She sent it to everyone to <laughs> be on here. And I'm like, well, did you listen to your other ones? Like, they were good. She's like, no, they weren't as good. This one was great. 
I argue all the episodes with Heather are great. They all get good reviews. They Agreed. All, every time she's on, my dad's like, Heather's, Heather's a great guest. Agreed. And, but she, she always gets great reviews. Refuses to I don't know why. To I, the rest I, are good. They're all yes, good. I do, I, I do seem to recall you got some sort of email traffic saying that Heather should be a more frequent guest. Uh, yeah, I also think that was maybe from Heather. Uh, no, it wasn't. Was it from Rima? Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Heather, Heather also definitely did like some low key recruiting here because, like, <laughs> like Heather would. Yeah, I know. Like, because Heather, Heather was losing all these competitions, and then all of a sudden starts pulling people in. It's like, ooh, look who pulled out of the win here. Yeah, hey, convince some people to yeah. to participate. Yeah. We did. Um, Ian, it was a good timing to have you on. We received an email from your wife, oh, Rima, who's a, a former two time guest of uh, the podcast. Uh, she sent in an email to us, and uh, I'll, before we get into that, I'll say you guys are welcome to send us emails. We love receiving emails. Email us at apmlpod at gmail.com. Rima did that, sent us an email that says, there is not enough Twilight content. Thanks, a concerned listener. That's what she, she sent in. Is this just in general or only on our podcast? She said, I mean, she sent it specifically. I don't know how, I don't know if, if she's sending that email to other podcasts, but she sent that to our podcast. What, what, if, what if we would just message every podcast? It was like, not enough Twilight content. Not enough Twilight Except content. Except for like, there's one dedicated Twilight podcast. It's yeah. like, you guys are doing it perfectly. Yeah. Also, like, how much Twilight content could you even have? It's been done. It's also like such an old movie. But, some, but I'm, like, it's been, the series is over. Yeah. We know what happened. Ian, give us some insight Edward here. I, was, I would say that no one is doing Twilight content anymore, so no one has the perspective of 10 years after Twilight now. Yeah. No one's doing you could Twilight. really corner that market. If I look if I look on <laughs> Apple Podcasts right now and I find Twilight anything podcast. Twilight... I bet you will. I bet you will. But Ian, can you give us some insight? Has, little, has Rima been on a Twilight kick lately here? What's going on? What's the deal yeah, with... The What's Twilight the effect. Gal? So she she's been on a Twilight kick That's by podcast? association. Yeah. When was their last episode? Let's see, looks looks like it could be recently. Uh-oh. Uh, Tuesday. Oh, oh. there's so. plenty of Twilight content. Now, now we got now we got it. There's the also a podcast called to to okay. Remember, Remember Twilight. Hold on, you dude, you're giving Rima. She's got new podcast to listen right, to. Rima, search Twilight and I have a podcast. So much. There is a plethora. Plethora. All right, but she, has she been on a Twilight kick? What's going on? I can't. She has not been on a Twilight kick. But you haven't I, walked in on her watching New Moon. No, thank God. Ooh, do we know that she wasn't talking about like Twilight golfing? Ooh, I can say. Ooh, with, follow up. I'll about email her. Sixty percent certainty she was not talking about golfing. So I, I'll, I'll have to check. Sixty percent certainty. As I said, it, I could say with ninety nine. Ninety nine. She was 100. talking about Twilight. One hundred percent certainty. Ian, are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? That's what everybody wants to know. I'm surprised he's thinking about it. I think it's a slam dunk what I think he is. I kind of want to know now. I have an answer. I'm not going to say it. Sean, what do you think he is? Are you locked in? He's Team Edward. Team Edward, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Also, like... Anyone who's Team Jacob is a psychopath. I agree. Also, let's think about Complete this Complete psychopath. Well, the whole, the whole transforming into a wolf and imprinting yourself on a newborn thing always... Uh, counts yeah, people don't talk about that enough. Stupid. Like, people pedophile. Don't talk about that enough. Pedophile much? Fell oh, in love yeah, with a baby. Really pedophilia. Yeah. Hey. Like, don't fall in love with my baby. Why haven't we canceled? Feed your baby. Canceled don't fall yet? in love with my baby. Hashtag cancel Twilight. Cancel well, Team let's Jacob. Just cancel Jacob. Yeah. I, oh, let's, team Jacob. Let's go back cancel on Twitter. Team Jacob. We search hashtag Team Jacob and anyone that had hashtag <laughs> Team Jacob, we say you're being reported. You're on a list now. Yeah. A Twitter list. Twi- no, I mean, <laughs> pedophilia <laughs> Twitter list. That's what we can do. Right, let's put them on them, a list with I, an ugly name. And I'll say ped- <laughs> pedophiles. Pedophiles. Pedophile supporters. I won't call them pedophiles. <laughs> But they support a pedophile. Team Jacob canceled. Yeah. yeah. Cancel Team no, Jacob. That, that's not inflammatory enough. Hashtag yeah. pedophiles. No, no, no. I think they, they no, just no, call no. them pedophile supporters. Maybe we have a subgroup within them, and then I just look at their pictures, and I say which ones I think are pedophiles. Okay. You, and then you they'll be the pedophiles. pedophiles. That's fair. Pedophile supporters. I, don't think, pedophiles. I, I think that's the exact opposite of fair, but I'll still watch it happen. Hey, life's not fair. What was it like the um, <laughs> from the show uh, Nathan for You, where it was the movie theater, <laughs> and it was like the people who were sharing popcorn in the movie theater, and so he'd post their pictures because he was like, you can't do that because he wanted to boost popcorn oh, sales. Yeah, yeah. So he posted on a board that said, uh, "People who share popcorn or masturbate." <laughs> 
I thought, <laughs> and they're like, no, that's a very big difference between. <laughs> I thought you were going with the the episode where he was doing the magic trick. But he's like, the stakes aren't big enough of just me dying. Yeah. I need to have, no. I need to be put on a, a list if you, I fail this. Yeah. So you see gonna, that clip going around. I see that yeah. clip regularly. You've seen magicians risk death before. Yeah. But tonight, I'm going to risk something even greater. Becoming a registered sex offender. <laughs> what, like, what is he doing now? Because that show is so great. He God, Nathan, such, for you. Such a good show. Yeah, it's, it's a we show highly that's recommend like, hard it. to do at some point. Because like, I always feel like all those shows, they're like uh, prank shows or something. It's like, yeah. how do you get away with it at certain points? Because like, don't people just like recognize you? Yeah. Probably a lot harder to do nowadays. Yeah. than. I think he's producing stuff more now. That makes I sense. know he there was um, How To with John Wilson is on HBO that he uh, was involved with. And there's another show, I think, in the works with him involved. Okay. But that's all. Keep that's your update. You come to a Pizza My Life for updates on Nathan Fielder. Yeah. The huge A-list celebrity. <laughs> does not get enough it's credit. It's not just though. a niche. He does not get enough credit. That was such a Nathan good show. Nathan for You is such a good show. It's on HBO Max. Go watch it. It's on Hulu also. Might be on Hulu, but it's for sure on HBO Max. Yeah. I, I assume it. he is also not a registered sex He's offender one, because that uh, he escaped that magic trick. And well, spoilers. We also don't know spoilers. if he's a registered sex offender for any other reasons. So. Spoilers, but he escaped that magic trick. Yeah. So that would have that that been, been great cover if he was actually about <laughs> yeah, to go on the sex offenders list. Oh yeah, it was no, it was, like just it purposely was, fails that. Yeah, no, it's it it totally <laughs> about that magic trick. It's it, for that. Yeah, yeah. Who's the magic trick? I also like. I just want to like who signed their kid up for that. <laughs> Oh, those Hollywood moms, man. They like, are desperate. Do you ever see those we'll things? We'll make you a star. Do you ever see those things? You're like, like who signed up? Who signed their kids up to be like, yeah, in this like bad, just basically traumatized. Thing. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, well, he's gonna be a star. Luke parents Jacobs sign, gonna be a star. Yeah, parents sign off on it. Because it, interesting get that how the name paycheck. you picked there was. Jacob. It was just the one that was already in my head. Yeah. I mean, it makes what sense. What team we were, were you, Sean? Yeah, Sean. Team Edward, obviously. One one person, one of them became the one of them went on to become <laughs> Batman. And the other one, what's the last thing? Uh, what's Taylor Lautner? He did Taylor some Lautner? spy did he movie. Do, did he was do, that like an 08? Uh, that was yeah, no, it was a while ago. And he yeah. also sucks. He's not a good actor. He's falling off. Robert no, Pattinson's a really good actor. Was he in the, re- the reboot of Shark Boy and Lava Girl? <laughs> they did a reboot of that? Yeah, there was some sort of reboot on that, and I think he was in it. Are you searching him involved. up right now? Oh, absolutely. Okay. He was involved in it in some way. Why? I think uh, first first question is Taylor Lautner no longer acting? Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, because he's am I born born February eleventh ninety two in Grand Rapids, Michigan? Not what we asked. None of that had anything to do. with not what Just we thought that Dude, was that's interesting. That's why we bring in on the podcast because he comes in and he's like, "What did you ask for?" Not what nah, I'm I also feel yeah, like giving the date made zero. Re- like if you just wanted to say yeah. that he's, from I have to Michigan. cut that out. I have yeah. to edit that out. Cut, 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 cut. You doxed him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By looking at his people, IMDb. Yeah. people are going to steal his identity, dude. He has been in five movies since Breaking Dawn Part 2, which was 2012, by the way. Okay. Yeah, we knew that. And I think the movie was, the spy movie he was in was Tracers, which yeah, bad. bombed. Tracers. I, get, what, I, don't think get he's been, I don't think he's been in a movie that did more than like $20 in revenue. Oh, I'm sure it's more than $20. Barely. Probably uh, just from him. His latest movie was in 2022 in a Netflix adaptation of a football team starring Kevin James. Oh, yeah. The New Orleans Saints uh, movie. Oh, that hasn't come out yet, though, right? No, it's been out. Oh, really? January 2020. Yeah, dude, it, it came out. Home uh, Team? Home Team. I already it's, forgot it. It was already know, why it the worst. I mean, was Kevin it bad? Ja- it's a Kevin James movie. Was Take a guess played, if it's Was bad. he playing Sean Payton? Yeah. Like, Kevin James was playing Sean Payton. Do you think Sean Payton Saints was like guy. offended by uh, that? That's why he retired. Please guess <laughs> it's... Because uh, he was like, this is a Please joke. guess it's Rotten Tomato Review. Percent. Uh, I'm um, guessing 22. 17. 20. Oh, suck it, Sean. Uh, you went over, though. I was 2%. I was... But two two percent off. You went over. We were just playing closest. No, it's no. Price is Right rules. No, it's always Price is Right rules. No, when it's a price. But this when was it's a percentage. percentage. It's it's closest. It's closest I to the percentage. Know. I because if you round up, then yeah, I was 20. right. I was right too. Then and if you round up, if you round up, I was actually then technically. It goes to 22. If you round up, then you were just, wrong, guys. You if you were, round up to the nearest two, two. You if you were, round up at all, you're wrong. Round up to the nearest even number. You're wrong, then. You round up, you go to 30. No, you'd go to 22. You're rounding up, not rounding down. If you round it down, you would go down to 18. <laughs> you're both wrong. So it, All right, yeah, I got to cut all that. <laughs> so you're you're going to have to I don't know. I feel, like, <laughs> what I, I feel like that was the TNT segment where like Shaq is, Shaq is like, to this I fill up my gas tank when it's halfway full to save money. Did you guys see that segment? No. Oh, my God. Shaq had, he was like legitimately arguing this point. He's like, it's, it's less money. 
if I just fill up my gas tank when it's at half full instead of waiting for it to go down, they're like, but then you're filling it up twice as often. He goes, no, I'm not. He's like, I'm only filling it up when it's halfway and it's half the money. They're like, but then you got to fill it up more often. He's like, no, you guys don't understand me. <laughs> he was, he's made famous for playing basketball and being and Shazam large. and, and, Kazam? and, and hot and hot and cold or icy hot patches. Uh, did know, you forget it's... about his stint as the general? Yeah. Or with the general? He does a lot of advertising. I think as long as as long as you ask him to be in a commercial, he'll say yes. Just say yes. Yeah. Selling Buicks. Yeah. Yeah. Despite the fact that he's sitting like this in the car because he's like eight feet tall. You'd be surprised how roomy those Buicks are. You don't even recognize him. He had a show called uh, Shaq's House. (laughs) That's a guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, like, I, believe you. I think it's right though. I think okay. uh, like it's like a fifty fifty. Are you are you sure that you just didn't like see him on the, his episode of Cribs and you're just confusing that? I think they saw him on Cribs and they're like, let's make a we show out of this. Here. We need to make an his house is big enough that yeah, we need yeah, to make yeah, an entire yeah, yeah. show out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. Ian, you had something you wanted to talk about. What's uh, what's going on in your uh, world? So I had a friend of mine who was complaining to me about an email he got from his HR group. Uh-huh. And it was about, as I think most people who listen to this pod, all seven of them. Wow. Yeah. Are, all right. <laughs> all right, dude. Just, Sorry we had you back, man. Yeah. You guess who's for, not getting the call in 50 more episodes. Guess, yeah, just guess yeah. who got upset after needing to wait 49 episodes yeah. to come back. I had a lot of material and it's gone. Episode 130, you're not. It's not going to be you. Nope. <sighs> Guaranteed. Wolf Remon five more times before you're back. <laughs> Every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Month of Rima. Yeah. Yeah. And all we're talking about is Twilight. <laughs> it was, so this friend, his HR group sends him an email that says, look, we understand that there are a lot of people quitting jobs and moving around. And we realize that we need to do things to retain our employees at the company. So if you've been working here X number of years, you get $10 for every year you've been working here. And sick. A plaque. It's up to like what twenty dollars tops. So yeah, I'd I'd make twenty bucks. That, see, that doesn't feel like so, appreciation. That just feels like a kick in the head. Yeah. Like give you said, me, they had to work there at least five years, so you're making at least fifty bucks. Yeah. So I guess yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'd be sixty bucks, seventy bucks yeah. at max. And where's the gift card to? You get to choose. One hundred ninety bucks, maybe. No, if they've been there nineteen. Pretty years. sure it's just cash into your paycheck. So then you have to pay taxes. Well, you on said it a gift too. card, though. Man, if I've been working at a company for remember. twenty years and they give me two hundred dollars, I feel like that's a little bit insulting. A little bit. I feel like. Um, but you're also probably not getting anything because at twenty years, no you're probably too high up. And unless I, I unless I chose not to. You're move not getting up. any of these bonuses. That I I always like I always <laughs> wonder about those people who don't choose to go up because like part of it doesn't sound bad. But at some point, though, you can't make any more money. Like you're yeah. stagnant. You you have to go and do a, a manager role because you're at the you're at the top, top of, of your the thing. salary. Some cap. people aren't aren't cut out for for manager work though. I agree. And they don't want to move to like some other department or do something else. To an to extent, you need or... those people sometimes. It's just always interesting to me. It's where you're just basically like, hey, I'm fine with making this amount of money for the rest of my life, inflation aside. Yeah. And I will just do this. And I think there's a little bit of peace in that. I'm one of those people. I don't want to go up a management chain because the moment you start being a manager as an engineer, you stop engineering. Oh, I was just about to say that. That's the famous quote for engineering. Yeah. Yes. It's similar to like uh, you live long enough to see it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. You yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I'll say it. I'll say it. You either live long enough. You either die to... an engineer, live long enough to see yourself become a manager. Well, that would have been funnier if you would have said that first and then it led into this other one. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that was like the quote that's going to be on his tombstone. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yes. I'm going to edit that so that it, I like say that before everyone else says their bullshit. Yeah, okay. And by everyone else, I mean Ian. Yeah, who <laughs> just changes it. Who just steals my thunder, yeah. dude. I'm I do love I do love those uh, those like just ridiculous like work compensation things. Plaques are great. I don't know anyone's Are ever they? gotten a plaque and been like, I love this. No, Thank you. Give me something I can use, like pay for my gas to go into work. What are you talking about, oh, dude? That's, they, you can use a plaque. They'll get, you two, they'll get you a gallon and a half. Isn't that good enough? Yeah. yeah. So like, so they got a gift card and a plaque. Yes. And to me, that just seems like... Think, what like is, a, I want to see what the plaque looks like. I imagine before it's the we, cheapest thing that they before can get. Before we cast judgment, it's let's see this plaque. solid gold plaque. I love plaques. Yeah. I really hope it's what just a piece of paper that's thumbtacked to your desk. I, I don't have enough plaques. 
I want more plaques. Those are always things, though, too, where I feel like the company would be better off just not saying anything. Because I feel like when you acknowledge that, like, hey, we we should do something hey. to compensate you, but we're going to do the cheapest. Yeah. Worst thing we can do. No, but and, then it makes you want. be like, wait, so you know that you need to do this, and then you're just choosing to do like the horrible. Yeah, but then yeah, you have a terrible execution. Yeah, like it'd be. I'd rather you just being like, yeah, no, whatever. You guys are being paid fair, and you just don't say a word. I want to be in the meeting where they decide it though. There, you like, know what, like, you know? what things were on the whiteboard? We can you offer child was... care. We can pay guests. We can give them an ice cream bar Bro. once a year and buy them pizza. Doing the last one. Yeah. You know that there's Bro, like you know none one, of those like... were on the whiteboard. No, it was they had one <laughs> thing. They were already like, yeah, we can't do that. We, yeah, know, that's we can't do way that. too much. Money. No, yeah. there's one. Just there was like, like super, pizza party, yeah. ice cream bars, or like gift cards. Ten dollars like, a year. They no, there's like there's. I feel like there's always new chairs. Like super overzealous HR person. And there's like, guys, this will boost morale. People just want to be acknowledged. They don't need anything. Beanbag chairs. Yeah. What am I a beanbag chair? When was the last time you sat in a beanbag chair? A long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. I don't think it's conducive for getting I don't work think done. I... No, that's like a uh, you need one of those, taking those a like uh, you need one of those vertical desks. You know, <laughs> oh, so you can kind of you can kind of lay under it and uh, you know just kind of work away. Beanbag chairs were just made for. Weed, right? What if I just do the pod, the rest of the podcast like this? Because it's basically you have to look at the stains on the ceiling. You're saying beanbag chairs for weed? Yeah, because I feel like it's just made for like just the sitting and like just slumping in. I think yeah, I think yeah, I don't think you're wrong. It's I for, think that can be done in any chair though. I like, think it's yeah, it's for weed and for you kids. Do, you you try to slump back in this chair? Yeah, it's nowhere near as comfortable as a beanbag. You do that for a couple hours, that's gonna feel uncomfortable. Beanbag, you're gonna be in. Heaven. I would need a beanbag chair to compare to. No one has one. That's, well, a, that's another conspiracy. Fuck, Mattress why don't I have firm should start chair? selling beanbag Bro, chairs. Hold on. Did you ever... Let me get my ass back into this chair. <laughs> <laughs> let me... Also, beanbag chairs would help uh, support core strength. As a kid... you need a lot of core strength to just get out. Well, you know that because you've been thinking about physical therapy a lot. <laughs> yeah. And your core strength. Um, did you, you, you a lot of core strength As shoulder. a kid, did you ever have any inflatable furniture? I don't think so. I know... But I, did you want I, some? Yeah, because I... Fuck yeah, you Because you could always so. win it at, like, a skating rink. Yeah. I think I had a chair at Arcade. one point. I had a chair. It didn't yeah, last forever because eventually, never, like, it, yeah. it's a hole. Yeah, but it's the I think I had one for a while. Made. Yeah. It's also, like, not comfortable. No, but no. as a kid, you're dying right, for you're like, it. This is awesome. You're like, fuck yes, dude. Because, I don't know, because it's clear furniture. What was the hype about it? I don't know. Also, like, just that makes me think of this, too. Arcades got to be making so much money. Oh, hey, yes. yeah, how do you think they stay in business, bud? It's, it's <laughs> gambling for children. That's true. Wow. This was a revelation? Yeah, it was. Gambling for children. I didn't children. go to as many arcades. Chuck E. Cheese is just. But it's, it's, more, it's just like a more casino. Fun out of it. The, 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 drink, the food's terrible. There are no windows, and you can never tell what time it is. It's a casino. That's true. And they serve you pizza. And pop. And pop. Breadsticks and gets you hyped up, and someone pooped in the ball pit. Oh yeah, that's a. I would. There's people out there that have had to clean that. Speaking yeah. of Chuck E. Cheese, we need to talk for a second. Poop in the ball pit. <laughs> I was gonna say, what have you done Ian? about how Eric didn't know what Caesarland was? That is surprising. When did I say this? No, I think. Yeah, I. It was you and I were the only two people who knew what Caesarland was. Was this at trivia? Yes. Okay. This was at trivia. So this is uh, for the listeners. Um, this is a, a prior conversation we've yeah. had. So <laughs> everyone listening is like, what? I know that that's what threw me off too. Is I, I was like, <laughs> did, did we talk I about, this on about the podcast? This? No. Yeah, no, we did not. I, I had to think about it. Did we talk about it last week? No. That's yeah. what I was like. I was like, I, no. I like, did Heather not? Caesarland like, oh, uh, was I don't a restaurant. Think... Never been to it. Never seen it. Never heard of it. Caesarland was like a better, and I say better because I think less packed. Chuck E. Cheese. It, it was, was like a, Little it was, Caesars Chuck E. Cheese. It was a Chuck E. Cheese that was not a casino. <laughs> Less of a casino? Yeah. Trying to do it like a soundboard clip? Like, yeah. do I need to cut that? Yeah, cut <laughs> it. Save it for later. Save it for later. <laughs> well, because you say not a casino. It, was the, it, it had a little bit less games, but like it was yeah. still... I mean, it was, it was a cross between like... Uh, McDonald's Playscape and like, yeah, Chuck E. Cheese, like arcade. Just, I guess I brought it up for the listeners... Did you or did you not know Caesarland was placed? Like, I want to figure out if this is a regional thing. Well, it's definitely regional, but 
everyone who listens to this pretty much grew up in the same yes. region. So, no, Eric, Eric, not the fact that only you and I knew this was kind of surprising. I'm sure other people will know about it, other listeners. Yeah. yeah but uh, my dad's not going to text me and be like, well, I've taken you to Caesar Land. I hope he does. Eric's dad, please text and whether or not you ever took your son to Caesar Land. Dad, safely pull over to pizza the side dad. of the road. <laughs> <laughs> it's pizza, dad. Text me if you've been to Caesar Land. Yeah. If you've heard of it. I bet my dad texts me and he's like, I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Your podcast sucks. That's probably what my dad's going to text me. Now I got to deal with that. <laughs> Thanks, At least guys. your dad's texting. I guarantee your dad won't say that because your dad good. loves the show. Yeah, he's a big fan. Number one fan. Pizza Dad, we love you. Pizza Dad. We love you. Yeah, so, I, uh, I was very surprised that no one else knew what Caesar Land was. I remember going there all the time. Mm-hmm. I definitely liked it more than uh, Little Caesars. I liked it more than Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, it sounds like a much different place, more fun (laughs) place for a child than uh, Little Caesars. I mean, that's true. Yeah. No, I'd, um, and now I guess kids just have Dave and Buster's now. Is that even kids? Like, I thought Dave (sighs) and Buster's No, no, Ian, it's for grandparents. Yeah, it's for kids. That's why they have a ton of games. Yeah, for the adults. I think that Chuck E. Cheese served beer. Wow! Well, I think Chuck E. Cheese served beer. I think you can I don't get know pictures of beer at Chuck E. Cheese. Ah, I think Chuck E. Cheese served mm, beer. That's a good question. I think Dave and Buster's. The only difference is that it's like they cater to both crowds. But there's definitely there's you go there. Yeah. You can never go there and not have a bunch of little kids running around. No, but when the way it was phrased is that well, Dave and Buster's is where I just let my kids run loose and then I sit in a different area and eat. Also, just surprising that people did that because, like, it's wow, a good confirmed. way to get abducted. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. As a, uh, well, no, Chuck E. Cheese did that. Beer. You had to, uh, when you came in, you had to get your hands stamped with the adult that brought you in so a different adult couldn't take you out. Did they have a stamp? Like, they had a color coding of stamps It was one adults? that glowed in the dark. But I'm saying, though, couldn't, uh, couldn't an adult just go into Chuck E. Cheese? Like, oh, I'm here for a party. Uh, I think the answer to that was no, to prevent abductions. You're telling me that there's never been uh, an adult who came in without a kid to Chuck E. Cheese? I doubt that because there's parties there. Yes, oh, fine. The adult could come in, but he, the adult that could then not leave without the Would they kid. just not get a stamp? Yeah. Okay. So it's maybe it's like a bring a kid, trade a kid. Like you bring one kid and you take another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's acceptable. Um, and it's not stealing. It's a trade-in. My, uh, I, went, I, went for, I went for the newer <laughs> model. A he's, he's more I don't team, like this kid. <laughs> team Jacob more and more every minute right now. Which of these kids looks there's, like a good kid? There's a Hulu documentary that's coming out oh, about this what? guy who like abducted this kid, oh, no. had him for seven years, like told him he had a different name, and then wanted to get the kid to help him abduct, abduct another kid. And then in that time frame ends up like he took the kid that was trying to get abducted and fled and then like just tried to restore his life seven years later. And then it turns out his brother was a serial killer. A lot of loops in that story. Man. Yeah. Is this your next abducted in plain sight? Yes, yeah, so I was about to say this is more or Am less I about crazy to hear this like that. story three more times. No, I think I mean I think it's less I think it's less crazy than abducted in plain sight. Nothing that, is crazier than no, that, that story. Was, yeah. I I still That's just remember over the fact that the dad just was like, Yeah, I just jerked him off and like has no context <laughs> to the story. Like it's just, yeah, I don't know why he said that. Either. Like he just like, like a like, wild truth moment. Truth serum. It was like, yeah, I just jerked him off. Like, yeah, yeah we just asked I you. Just, like, I just needed to get that off my chest. Yeah, like, like, we yeah, just asked like, you if that was traumatizing that your daughter was abducted. Like, yeah, yeah. No. He's so like, yeah, I confronted I him, him once and like had a long talk about it, and he ended up jerking me off. And I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> you guys, I can't even be mad at my wife. All right, this guy was very suave. He was he very made, persuasive. He made me jerk him off. If you saw him, you'd jerk him off. You'd jerk him off. There's no there's no way you wouldn't jerk him off. This guy's about to jack off. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like out of nowhere. That's stupid. Oh, my God. I would never admit that on a documentary. <laughs> and for no reason. Dude, for no reason. So, so we, we didn't even ask you that question. Yeah. What? Oh, you didn't? No, I just had to tell you. Can, oh you, can, you can edit that out in post, right? I just yeah, wanted yeah, you yeah. to know why I went back to my wife. After she cheated on me. <laughs> it's because I understood. Let me. Uh, There's no way she couldn't have had sex with him. I almost had sex with him. I Luckily, I'm t- so straight, I just jerked him off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's such a wild. You, uh, how often you forget you about that? the whole alien aspect of it, too. <laughs> Yeah, yes. like, that doesn't even matter. Because there's just the there's just the dad just jerking off an abductor. Because <laughs> it's just that moment. Yeah. That moment's living well, rent free in your head. Oh, forever. <laughs> I think about it every month. I'm a death mother and be like, like, 
Pa, what do you remember? And I'm like, there's Did this you one. Remember guy. that abducted yeah. 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 Was like, There's this one guy. He just jerked off his uh, child's abductor and it told a camera crew for zero reason. Granddaughter's covering your great grandchild's ears. Yeah, she's like, she's like, why would you tell us that? I'm like, because it's crazy. You look like the Godfather. You're like, come here, yeah. come here closer on Netflix. <laughs> A documentary. What's Netflix? Abducted in plain sight. Please watch it. That's the greatest documentary ever. He jerked him off. <laughs> why did he do You're it? You're dying words. <laughs> but why did he do it? No one knows. I'll never find out. Yeah. Make that your life's work, son. They can do a whole documentary on why that guy decided he had to tell that story on that yeah. documentary. He insisted his last words be carved yeah. into his tombstone. He just jerked him off. He yeah. gives context. Gives context. No context like, whatsoever. The seventies were a different time. <laughs> they really were. <laughs> the fact that he could just like call in school and be like, "No, no, that's if someone else calls and asks for, her, don't listen to them. I'm the father. I'm." The, yeah. And they're just like, "Yeah, okay, that sounds right. That sounds that doesn't sound creepy right. at all. It's the seventies. We trust you. Like basically, you could just abduct it. You could just abduct a child and have your own life as long as you had enough confidence. Like you just be like, you know, this is my child. Back then, yeah, you could do anything. This is my you child. Wanted. Yeah, there's no rules. It is. I mean, it really is. Crazy. Yeah. Learning Jeez. a lot more stuff about you every day. I've been obsessed with that documentary since I saw it. Yeah. Like, I'm sure we talked about that last time yeah. you were on the podcast, Ian. This is nothing new. But speaking of the last time Ian was on this podcast, oh God. Uh, we had a hot topping on that episode. Uh, the guy... I know. Yes, I know what you're talking Say about. Say it, Ian. The guy who had a penis grafted onto his forearm. Oh, that, that stuck with you. I, I just saw the new update okay. that he's talking about. We've got an ago. update on this guy. He's got a dick now, he, not on his forearm. They have moved the That's dick good. to the correct spot now. It is no longer on his forearm Forehead. after six years of having his dong on its arm. It's finally back to where it belongs. I heard that, though, doesn't he need to, like, pump it up to... Yes. It? Yes. Yes. Yes, to activate Which I think it. that's what we talked about last time, is why would you go through that, just get a synthetic one? Yeah, because, like, I'm assuming he doesn't have sensation. No, he... Why... It, okay, the In this new penis, I think that? he does have sensation. I, I would have he to believe have some feeling. nerves regrew yeah. there. Or just, like, the we're able to, like, reconnect it. it, yeah. I'm just surprised then you're not able to get blood flow to it. I imagine you could reconnect an artery or something. I am totally a doctor. Yeah, we don't know the science, but let's. I mean, Doctor Science, what do you think? I feel like we talked about this before, though. So if you we have talked about it in episode thirty-two, yeah. No, no, I feel like unless we (laughs) talked with Ian, unless we talked about like this specific part of it, but the inflation part, like where would you put the button to inflate it? No, it's just like a. I mean, we've had this conversation. I thought it was like in the balls or something. Uh, Yeah, didn't he just squeeze one of his balls? It's like a switch or something. Was this a different story that we had this conversation? Because we definitely uh, had this conversation. We talk about a lot of the similar stuff. We have stuff. talked about inflating penises more than once in 81 episodes of this podcast. Mm-hmm. Can't say no. Okay. Probably. Over under 2.5. I don't know what I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> it's even, even money on both sides. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, all right. So here's the uh, story, though. Malcolm McDonald, he's currently 47 years old, but he was horrified when his penis fell off back in 2010. Why did it fall off again? Um, Gangrene? It was due to severe blood infection, is what uh, they said. Just of the penis? Yeah, he had an Nothing infection. Nothing else he but had, the penis. He had some stuff uh, stuff going wrong. but um, Sticking things up there, I guess. Yeah, So, but the doctors have like designed this penis, grew it on his arm, and now they have moved it uh, to the correct spot. And uh, Malcolm McDonald says, I feel like a real man again. I'm still stuck on the why did it need to be on his arm? That's just the most natural split place to... Oh, I think it was the, the easiest thigh? way. Actually, but, I guess yeah. why, if you're growing a penis, why not just grow it in like the penis region? That I wonder if it sense. has to do with the nerves. Like To get enough nerve density to make it worth it, did it have to be on the arm? Why would your arm... Though? I feel like there's like... like Getting hit in the arm is a lot, lot less painful than getting hit in the dick. Someone rubs your arm, it's not as enjoyable. As so here's what they dick. say in the uh, article here. They say surgeons uh, manufactured a new penis. Um, he is a father of two. 
But they manufactured a new penis for him, Good for him using a skin flap on his left arm. So maybe that's where it started. He had extra skin. He had extra skin on that arm. It was his weenus. Uh, and they were just it like, his weenus into they a were penis. just like, let's mold this up the into a dick. The first weenus wiener transplant. You know? It, weenus penis. Come on. So they I planned. Weenus wiener. Weenus penis. So here's what, where it kind of went wrong. They planned to move the man-made penis down to his pubic area, but were forced to stop uh, the operation due to a lack of oxygen in his blood. So he was left with the artificial penis on his forearm. That's why it was left there. A second surgery to move the penis to between his legs was delayed for six years due to, this is true, due to scheduling mix-ups, staff shortages, and the COVID-19 pandemic. That's got to be the most frustrating thing. Can you imagine? I had to wait two the months sur- to bro. get... Bro! My surgery is going to be April 1st, 2020. Sir, we have a problem. I had to get. I had to wait two months just to get surgery on my shoulder, and I was yeah. pissed. I'm like, why is this taking that long? Six years. I can't imagine to have my penis. Yeah, to get taken off your arm. Well, I guess that explains why it was there. It was never meant to be there nearly as long as it was supposed. Scheduling to. mix-ups, though. I, what are you talking about? Who, how, how, many, uh, how many other penis transfers from forearm to crotch got screwed yeah. up with his? I'm double checking that. Uh, you know, when I'm making that appointment, I'm triple checking. We're all gonna be here. This is important, you know. But like the... one one scheduling mix up, like oh my god, I'm so sorry. We meant to schedule you next week. We have no availability this week. I will maybe accept one. You are getting me in the next chance you have. Yeah, and that is within a month tops. And like you move other people around. That guy who wants to get a toe removed, move out of the way. Yeah, I it... will. I will speak to him directly. I'll cut his toe off for free. There's actually a really kind of interesting... I don't want to see the picture. Um, I mean, well, uh, no. you've seen the picture before of the penis on his arm. But so here's... They have like kind of they an interesting graphic. So here's how the steps kind of work. Um, so step one, skin and muscle was taken from the left arm and a vein in the right leg. The skin was wrapped around the vein into a tube and then doctors molded the flesh into the shape of a penis and attached it to the arm where it was allowed to hang freely and form naturally as skin and tissue heal. Do you, so a couple things. And so there is a cylinder in it? There's Yeah, there's some sort of switch. Yeah, it's like it's like one of those uh, inflatable does he have like an, arm Does he have guys. like an air yeah. compressor somewhere? That so just, it's like a... Yeah, it's up his butt. It's his prostate. No, it's in his balls. You go... Boop, pff, I hit the spot, baby. Tss. Blows it up. A pump and release valve that's inside the scrotum. <laughs> what? That'd be so confusing. <laughs> How do you not squeeze the balls? Once I, I, I assume he doesn't have balls anymore after said. You think blood. he got his balls completely removed out of that? No, I'd imagine they fell off with the penis. No, I think no, he might. I think he can take the dick off and leave the balls. Yeah, they're they're not all the same. Yeah. This guy does have um. Some good quotes there's, from this there's article. There's separation there. Well, not for Ian, apparently. He's he's never looked at it before. He's never <laughs> how, seen how it. How does this whole thing work? Yeah. When he goes to the bathroom, he just keeps his pants on and just <laughs> kind of tries to like aim it out the side. The quote he had, um, he said, people ask me about it when they see me in the pub. And, of course, people make jokes. Ah, dick arm. Yeah. It's like, hey, <laughs> man, you're coming out of your sleeve there. Yeah. Uh, he says, but I get it. It's not every day you see a man with a penis on his arm. Of course, I see the funny side. I have to. I don't have any other options. <laughs> well, he has one other option. Um, he's in this new documentary. Okay. Guess what the guess what his documentary is called? Dick Arm? I don't know. The man with a penis on his arm. I was closer. Very, very <laughs> close. To the point. Yeah. yeah don't, we know what this one's about. Yeah. Um, no confusing this. Uh, in the documentary, um, Armageddon. he recalls helping an elderly lady retrieve an item from the top shelf at a supermarket only to have the penis pop out from beneath his sleeve and nearly hit her on the head. Why didn't he use his ah! other arm? Can you get put on a list if your dick arm pops out? I fucking hope so. I fucking hope so. Like, what if it's just a hot day and you just want to wear a short sleeve shirt? Dude, you can't be wearing any short sleeve shirts with this Damn. situation. That's a tough life. Six years of no short sleeve shirts. I know. Now he's free. That's what he's excited about. He gets to wear short sleeves. Yeah, I don't even care about the dick at this point. I just like want to be able to wear short sleeve shirts. So if you're if you're the doctor doing this, I mean, for one, if I'm if I'm this guy, I'm getting like, hey, put some extra inches on there. Let's go. We don't need to make this lifelike anymore. Let's, you know, give me give me something decent here. And then I also feel like if you're like the doctor's doing this, 
Hey, do you take this as an opportunity? Like, hey, let's uh, you know maybe mold the dick in a different way. See how it. See, see if there's any other options out here. Well, he actually ah, says, <laughs> "Yeah, I want a spiral." Um, <laughs> a no, he dick? says that he says um, they designed his dream penis with the help of surgeons and added an extra two inches to the man-made model, making it six inches in total. He says they were happy to listen to what I wanted it to be like, which was amazing. Not many can say they have a designer penis. I want to know what his other ah! wishes were for the dick. Can it please be? Six inches, like, come on. Like, do you see him? Do you think he came in with like pictures of other dicks and be like, all right, He's so like, I, want, I like this one. I want the vein to be like this one. I want the curvature like this. I want the head like this. I want the color to be somewhere in this region. And then the surgeon's like, yeah, we can try to do all of that. And it's like, yeah, no, it just it looks like a mutated dick, buddy. Sorry, <laughs> we took skin off your arm. What the, we're not we're not miracle workers. Also, here. question. So they're able to do this. This is a serious question. I, I don't mean it to sound bad at all, but like mm-hmm. I know, like when uh, females are transitioning to males, they have to like do like a vaginal like reconstruction, and I don't think the dicks usually come out looking like dicks. Is this an option that you could just get like an actual looking dick? I mean, you have to have it on your arm for a while, but like, could you get that and then actually have like a more realistic looking dick? Well, you certainly don't have to have it. For Not six years. Six years, yes. You know, unless there's a pandemic, scheduling issues, and staff shortages. That could all affect this. But I'm just saying, like, realistically, like, if you can, if it looks realistic, and you can design it how you want. Yeah. Is that, I feel like that would be a better option. I mean, I suppose so. I don't see why not. Right? I just, I I mean, I don't know enough this, of what they're currently doing, I guess. I think they do, like, some sort of, like, fold. I think that's what happens. And... I'm sure I can't imagine that it looks the same as just I mean from what I recall seeing this one I think it looked like a normal dick. It does. I, I yeah, imagine does. you get what you pay for. Yes. I think that's a very expensive <laughs> surgery so I don't know how to take that statement. <laughs> I can't imagine that every there inch are... is another $1000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How like, big you want I this? I think I think that's like a very expensive surgery so I don't you say you get what you pay for. I would expect that I get a designer dick. Well, I imagine there are multiple doctors that do this in different catalogs. And, well, okay, well, I, mean, okay you know, I can do it better than this guy. We're going to not a little go into like, the back alley doctor here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I would hope not. You don't go to the back alley like, hey, we got to regrow a dick on my arm. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Honestly, <laughs> after putting it on a form, it sounds like it was a back alley job. Yeah, the guy did a great job. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like this. I'm happy that it worked out for this guy. He says he's, you know, he's he's back out there. He's, you know, a normal guy now. Short sleeve shirts. Do you think the plastic surgeons think that they're like God? Yes, because they get to like alter people. Didn't you ever watch Nip Tuck? No, it was about plastic surgeons being God. It's literally the synopsis of the entire series. Never saw. I got a new show for you. (laughs) Yeah, plastic surgeons recommendations. Yeah, jeez, I don't. Um, I mean, it's tough for this guy. He had it on his forearm. That's a long time. Having it on your leg would be a lot better. Do they just do the surgery for free at that point? I don't think so. God, I'm sure I he's hope still paid. so. I mean, come on. Sir, after six years of inconvenience, this one's on the house. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I mean, he's at least making money off of it now. I guess you have to learn to laugh at yourself if you had a dick in your arm yeah. for six years. And, I mean, now he's got a documentary. Now he's got a, dick, yeah. a documentary. A dickumentary. A dickumentary. A dickumentary. A dickumentary. Okay. You be careful. That I'll title this Was episode he... Dickumentary. <laughs> yeah, he will. He probably will. <laughs> Was he married this whole time? He's, it's he's he divorced. Kids. So his love life do you was, think it, was it? Did it happen so before or after the penis fell off? On the market, I uh, don't know. I don't think it said uh, the timeline as to when his really dick fell off. Of her it'd be absolutely shitty. Yeah, it's like one of those things. Like oh, I gotta stick it out. And you probably thought like maybe she wanted to get know. divorced, and she's like, all right, this will be like a two month thing. But maybe the, the dick I'll falls wait. off, and she's kind of like, all right, I, he's gonna stop begging for sex. Then he shows, comes home the next day. He's got a dick on his arm, and she's like, "Ah, fuck! I fuck it this way, sweetie." He's gonna try to fuck me with that dick arm. I gotta divorce him. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> do you think? Do you think she'd like let him try it once though, just to see? I mean, but he couldn't get it hard. You couldn't though. get it hard. That's it the, was just a that's flap the problem. Skip. Yeah, that's true. Just, just smack him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What if this guy was a creep though? He just had it on his arm and he was like going around like he said like it. Yeah, fell it on said it said it accidentally fell yeah. on the lady. He's just like walking up. He's like putting his arm yeah, around someone. He goes, <laughs> it's just like in their ear. He's like, oh, sorry about that. Still yeah. getting used to this. You give him, you give him someone. A, he gives a hug. Yeah, he's uh, the one who delayed the surgery. He's like, I'm being creepy. Right. I can get away with it. Right, hey, can it's you get it? scheduling accidents? We're just him screwing it up. Uh, every hey, time. can you get it off my neck, guys? It's not. It's not a phallic thing at this point. It's only a medical. It's basically like a skin tag. You can't get mad at me that it's out and it's on your face. Yeah. 
Got to invest on some long mushroom sleeves. Mushroom standing people just. <laughs> the uh, he's oh, apparently he's a mechanic, so I feel like that is a dangerous job to kind of have uh, with a dick on your arm. Stuck in like an axle. Yeah, you know you're trying Fan to belt. trying to turn some rotors or something, and all of a sudden. I think he used it as a dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Oil's good. Yeah, so he just. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, it's hot, hot in there. Like, like I don't know what was his name. Um, Malcolm McDonald? Okay. I just think people just call him Dick that whole time. <laughs> if only his name was Richard. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, I mean, that would just be yeah. kind of cruel. It'd be it'd just, just God, irony. just God kicking him in the dick over and over and over, Which kicking him in the form, arm yeah. over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. It's not the life you want. No. But we're happy for him. Yeah, good, good for that guy. The, Glad it worked out. The next hot topping here. A 26-year-old woman in Portland, Maine, got arrested for drunk driving. She, I mean, where do you think is the worst spot to be drunk driving? The beach. Like the spot where you like think for sure you're going to get caught? Uh, in front of a police station. In front station. of a police station, yeah. Woman charged with operating under the influence after crashing at the Portland police garage. Ah. <laughs> How much have you had a drink? No, sir. I would not like another drink. The department posted two pictures on its uh, Facebook page saying, please don't drink and drive. She reportedly drove through the department's garage, across the pedestrian plaza, and then down the stairs to Middle Street. Uh, the car ended up just being uh, parked at the, on the staircase. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to come back later. You know what? I shouldn't be driving anymore. Okay. I'm just going to leave this right here and get a get. An My Uber. car should be safe. It's by a police station. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I should have no issues. What do you think her excuse was for how she ended up there? Fell somebody sleep. Cu- somebody cut her off. No. She said she was following her uh, GPS yeah, was instructions, but responding officers felt it was her excessive blood alcohol level. Oh, you don't say. Realistically, if someone was like completely sober and they just followed their G- like your GPS, I don't think is ever going to take you to like crash into a building. Through no. a building. Sometimes through it might building. take you into a lake. <laughs> Michael Scott. But like, and what? Like, do does that does that excuse ever work? Because I feel like it's like even if you are like completely an idiot, I'd be like, well, you saw a do- you saw like a garage. I'm here. certain every GPS software has some thing at the bottom that says we're not liable for. I'm no, I'm, I'm saying not. Yeah, I'm not saying that the shit. GPS is going to get in trouble. I'm saying like, did you ever get like off the hook of something being like, yeah, no, I just like drove into that school, but that's not on me. My GPS said it was fine. <laughs> yeah, they told me to go this way. Yeah, I have to imagine it all depends on where you ended up. Did you turn like in a construction zone? Okay, maybe that's. Oh yeah, fine. clearly. But did you drive through the precinct? Okay, but I even say sure that if you uh, nice, oh, that's worse than I thought. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I would say that even if you drive into a construction zone, at some point you're like you got you. I don't care what your GPS says. Use your eyes. Yeah. Also, watch where you're going. But that's what I'm saying. Like, use your eyes. But when you're hammered drunk. Then you might drive into a police station. And yeah, that's a pretty bad spot to end up is uh, just crashing into the police station. I, lo- I just love the, like, I'm just going to leave my car here. Yeah. Well, because I mean, I think she was stuck. Hurt? No one was hurt in that's the incident. Uh, so that is the good news. Um, the, you know, the bad news, though, is she, yeah. She got that ticket. <laughs> what, if, what if she went into the what if she went into the police station? She goes, guys, I got to report my car is stolen. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't. I can't find. Just it. stumbling in. And like, like, um, okay, like, what kind of car is it? Uh, it's a blue SUV. It yeah. looks like the one on your staircase yeah, it over looks there. Just like that one, but oh, it's not that one. And then hold on, I got my keys still. <laughs> it's that one. I think that's it. <laughs> Problem crisis averted. I found it. You guys found it. How'd you do uh. that? Why'd you park it there? <laughs> Someone's got to have to get that out. I like me. the idea of the, uh, like, uh, she's just, like, in the car, and they just, like, knock on the window of, like, ma'am, you can't park in. She's like, I'm only quit hassling me. Yeah. You don't this have, is a free country. You don't have the right. You don't have the right to do this. Illegal search and seizure. I know, I just I'm going to record you. <laughs> You're just, hassling me. I just wanted this to happen <laughs> at, like, 2 in the morning, and there's some poor police officer sitting behind the desk and just watching this happen. <laughs> At some point, if like yeah. if it's clear that like I don't know that they got protect and serve, I'm say at some point if like it's clear that like no one else is gonna get hurt, 
Did you just like wait a second to see where it's gonna happen? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, what's yeah. she, what she gonna do with this? Where's she going? She can't accelerate enough to get back out of yeah. here. Where and I'm the only going? one in the building. So let's see how this plays yeah. out. You know? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, like he watches it for a second, and like, let me see if she can get off those stairs. <laughs> if she can get out of this, free. <laughs> let me see. Do you think she tried to talk her way out of it? <laughs> you know, like, hey so. officer. Yeah. You know, unbuttons her shirt <laughs> a little bit. Has like has like one of those like drunk like puke hey. birds. Like <laughs> you come here often. <laughs> You saying uh, you like my car? Yeah, there's room in the back seat. Uh, that's why. They, that's go why the, all the uh, way down. That's why the hatch <laughs> in the back was open. My my car is not the only thing that's banged up. <laughs> it's not the only thing that can happen on these stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Do you like it compact? <laughs> you want to see what else fits in this garage? <laughs> Yeah. All right. I'll cut all that. Yeah. Let's cut. 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 Cut advertised as such there's a sign that said amy winehouse's corpse and this was uh this happened months after she passed away first things first first like, off first off what the fuck are you doing with yeah. that like i don't understand <laughs> even like the joke in it and like yeah, no. we can all be like yeah that's like not great but what kind of just fucking weirdo takes the time to just go search through people's like old shit and just find something like this like I feel like you're, I feel like you're just like, like you're a fucking, I, I, I hate those people. Well, like you know Neil Patrick Harris the picture didn't popped s- back up. That's really weird. And I mean, it's it's a it's definitely a good looking corpse, of like they did a good job of making it look like a real okay. like, dead. You say good looking corpse. Oh yeah, I didn't mean like sexy. Like, like, like I was getting like getting all here. horned up over it. No, um, but there's yeah, they made it look very. Uh, it like, does like a corpse. But yeah, I and saw, then like, they put a sign that said, "This is the corpse of Amy Winehouse," which is. Uh, just uh, who, disrespectful. Who agreed to do that? Because you know Neil Patrick Harris didn't. Like no, who, he might have. It's again uh, like I. Yeah. I think I think that you got to take things into context. Like again, like back when this happened, it was insensitive. It was probably stupid, but it's like people just weren't thinking of things when, of when like was this is a bit that big of an issue. When did Amy Winehouse die? Um. Like, so oh, this was um. The party was July 2011, which was three months after Winehouse. Oh, no, sorry. Winehouse died in July 2011, and this, I think, was a Halloween party. Makes sense. Yeah. So, again, though, that's, I mean. That's, okay, that that's some context that was necessary. I thought NPH was just having a house party that he had a charcuterie like, board of Amy Winehouse's corpse. I thought that for a second. Then once I saw that picture, I assumed it was a Halloween party. Yeah. Uh, he described it as regrettable. Well, yeah. Again, but I, I think. Now I'm back on. I'm. 95, 99% of people probably have something that if you were like, oh yeah, like if you go back 10 years ago, should I have said that? Should I have done that? No, like it's regrettable. But the people who go out searching for this are assholes. Like you're an absolute asshole and it's always the- But at the same time, aren't you kind of like, hey, like why aren't people talking about this? Like this is so stupid that he did this and like no one knows about it. And Who I'm cares? just trying to get some awareness because it's like this is kind of like bullshit that he did this, and it's like but, if that's but the what's kind of the point of getting? Are, no, but again, but again, I think that this is like this happened 10, 11 years okay. ago. Yeah, it's not great, but it's not like I think most people would still agree that Neil Patrick Harris is a good person. That was a bad joke, a bad out of context thing. Like it, yeah. I think obviously he said it's regrettable, and I think like looking back at it, he's like, yeah, that was stupid. I think if you go out of your way to find something like this, you're like you're just an asshole. What if you just stumble across it? How do you just stumble across it? Because you're like, let me go through. Let these me go old, through ten old years tweets. of yeah. Neil Patrick Harris. So also tweets. then, like, what kind of what kind of today I'm reading Neil Patrick Harris tweets from October 2011. Oh, what did I find? The only solace <laughs> I ever get out of that is the people who go and do something like this. When then they get looked into, it's like, oh, well, you did all this shit. It's like, yeah, everyone's shitty. Everyone has done yeah. shitty stuff in the past. Oh yeah, relax. Oh yeah, especially unless you can find it where it's like this is clearly like someone did something like out of hatred, and like they're, you know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. But if you're just finding something where it's like yeah, that was just a bad joke. That was something stupid that I did. Yeah, who cares? I'm gonna scroll through your old tweets, Sean. Go ahead. <laughs> I probably said some bad things about some Coyotes players when they were playing. <laughs> 
That's your big scandal. I remember there's 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 a series that the Wings were playing the Coyotes, and I remember being like, "Fuck Ed Jovanowski." <laughs> the I know there's um like I occasionally uh, Twitter has talked about like adding a feature where you can like delete old tweets like real easily or something, or like set it so that your tweets expire. Or, and I hope they do bring that along because I feel like. Um, as time goes on, everything that you post on social media eventually starts to look cringy. Yeah, I agree. Facebook brought yeah. that one feature back where it's like, yeah. here's uh, what you posted yeah. seven years ago. And every time I'm like, uh, I love I'm just going to go delete that. Because that allowed me to go through my shit. Yes. And, time hop. And time hop. Like it. one of the best things about time hop is you'd be like, mm, that was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Delete, that. Delete, delete, yeah. Delete, 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 delete. I just feel like it's so, I just don't like always hearing about someone like, oh, 15 years ago they said this. Okay. I don't love it. That sucks. I'm sure they don't like that, but, like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we're kind of in, like, more of, like, an aware time nowadays. Yeah. To be like, all right, yeah, that was and again, really like, show shitty. Me who, like, who hasn't had anything, like, somewhat like, oh, yeah, that was probably stupid of me to, to do or say. Everyone's had yeah. something like that. But in, in on the flip side, that's all you should have to say is, yeah, that was dumb. I agree. But people but people don't want just that. You can apologize, and then, and then like, they still get mad that you didn't do something else. Yeah. Like, why did you say it? Like, I don't know. It was dumb. It was like different times. Like, I know that people don't like to hear that, but it was different times. Yeah. No one, no well, one was looking at this as like that. That's big of an why issue. I think Neil Patrick Harris's response is fine. It I was agree. regretgettable. I actually yeah, he heard said nothing. it was regrettable then, and it's regrettable now. I also heard nothing about this. So maybe with his, luckily, it's not been turned into a big deal. Yeah, I don't think it's a huge deal. It's not like the worst thing ever, but it's still uh, something that he had to answer for, which is always so weird. When yeah. it's like all of a sudden there's like just something old like this that pops up and it's like, all right, well, hey, you got to answer for this. And it's like in your answer, like, really? like, you have like one answer. Really? It's like, it's like people oh, yeah. keep tweeting about it. That and then, bad, but the, so. that's also the thing too, is it's like, if you do tweet about it, then it becomes a, a bigger story yeah. because now Perpetuated everyone's it. like, oh, now I'm aware of this. Yeah. And I just, you know, I don't follow the toxic Twitter half or that side of the internet to find out what's going on and who's getting canceled. Uh, who's going to Hollywood jail for the two years. Yeah. That shit's stupid. Kevin Spacey uh, apparently getting some movie roles. You upset about it? Yeah, that one's I feel like is a, a little, a bit, little of a bit of a yeah. That's a little bit of a different thing. Like well, that's not that's not just him being like that's not him is. making a charcuterie board of Amy Winehouse. That's him being a pedophile. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a little bit different. A little bit different. Is he playing a pedophile in this new movie role? Like, is I don't it just know. Some, uh, that should be acting? a rule if you're an actor and you get caught with like being creepy or doing something like that. All right, you. We yeah. might give you a, a role, but you can only play like a creep. You are now typecast. Yeah. No, here's here's the thing. It's and you like, get paid way less than everyone else. If you get canceled, then all your roles from now on, the makeup artist is gonna hate you and make you look bad. And you should only get to play with like the creepy, the creepy guy. Yeah. Like if that's what you did, it's like, oh yeah, uh, like uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein, like forcing people to you know blow them or something for roles. Yeah. It's like, all right, hey, you can. Uh, if you want to produce this movie or whatever, you have to be in it and you have to be the dude who's like a creep and just like tries to get someone to blow him for a role. And we wanted, and you're going to be called Harvey Weinstein in the movie. Yeah. It's like, Oh, I, I guess that's my role. Yeah. It's just you. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll do it. And you pay Not going to like it. Still better than working at Cinnabon. No. He play, he's uh, a fat guy. He might like working. He at might Cinnabon. like working. I know. Cinnabon. Cinnabon's so good. So good. When's the last time you had Cinnabon? Long time ago, pre-pandemic. I honestly don't think I've ever had like actual time Cinnabon. Ago. I've you are. I've probably had it once in my life. Yeah, unless it was something you could buy like from a store. I say like I feel like I Cinnabon. might have had like yeah like a yeah. packaged like yeah something that's like here's a Cinnabon thing, thing and yeah. it's like from Myers. Or something. Yeah, yeah. That I, sounds I don't know if I've had that like checks. an actual like gone to a Cinnabon kiosk. I I assume they're only kiosks. Mm-hmm. No, they were like built into like the mall. Yeah, but I'm saying well, yeah, like, but like they're, not they're not stores. It's not, it's not like I can go to like a standalone Cinnabon not in a mall or an airport. Correct. They're in malls. Yeah. All Your right. storefront is going to be in the thoroughfare. I can't walk into a Cinnabon. Kiosk, I know is not the right word, but Ian at least knew what I meant is it's not like. I know what you mean, but it's, kiosk is not the right word. I understand. And that's why I'm mad. Food court. It's only a food court item. Yeah. A walk-up station. <laughs> Maybe. I don't love it. Yeah. What, what are, are those call called? It? What are those called? That's what I don't. I I never worked like in a mall. Indian's pretzels. Sean, you worked in a mall. I, I did. never did. But so you like should know what you like go into. You should know the terminology of the mall. The mall terminology. But I feel like those are different. Like that is a store I could go into. Yeah. If you yeah, can't store. actually, if it's a restaurant, you can't actually eat there. Eatery. Yeah, it's like no. I didn't, there's a word we're missing. 
There's yeah. got to be a word for what that is in the within the mall. Food mall, mall food. I mean, it is mall food, but it's like that describes what you're getting there, not what it is. Mall strong. This podcast sucks. <laughs> you should really stop inviting me to these. Oh, this Jesus. Is, Eric also says this I don't every know. podcast. I don't know if this has been a good episode or not. He says that every podcast. <laughs> Hey, Doc. Ian, thank you so much for being the guest on the podcast this week. We, of course, ask all our guests, do you have anything you would like to promote or recommend? Uh, I would like to recommend a movie that Reem and I went to see not too long ago. Okay. We haven't been staying away from the movie theater like other people have um, because one of the things I'll promote is Phoenix Theaters in Laurel Park. They have tiny theaters and it's a good it's theater. A tiny theater and you, you don't you have to crush your people like if you went to AMC or Imagine. Well, but, hold on. I would say that all theaters at this point, though, are like those big seats. Like, you're not getting crushed. Not AMC. AMC, most, they have some of the small ones, but most of them are like oh. the. Phoenix the smaller seats. theaters is like 30 people max in the theater. Yeah, but what I'm saying yeah, is they like have nice you have, chairs. You're I not would like you worried a, about like sitting in like, oh, all right, this is yeah. a tiny seat now. Like, they're all like those. Yeah. Like Even, chairs. yeah, like I went to Imagine not too long ago, and the, those seats, um, well, not as big as Phoenix theaters. Uh, still big. Still uh, pretty decently sized. And, I and a little bit think Amazon or A little Amazon bit better. Like, I didn't, I didn't mind them. Amazon, yeah. not, uh, not, you can't watch a movie Amazon, at Amazon. Yeah, it's it's only a matter of time yeah. before Streaming. Amazon theaters. Yeah. Amazon theaters coming soon. Trademark, a pizza my life. Trademark, trademark. I trademark. guarantee they already yeah. have that. Yeah. It has to be coming. Like if I'm somewhere. Amazon, I I have trademarked Amazon anything. Amazon. If theater. I'm Apple, it's I anything. Yeah, I theater. I taco. Yeah. Don't know what it will be yet, but we have a trademark just in case. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> but they have not... I orange trademark. Do you think? Yeah. I pair. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Sorry, you go on. <laughs> But that's not what I'm trying. We'll cut all that. Cut, 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 cut. But that's not what I'm trying to promote. What I'm trying to promote is the movie that we saw, which was The Northman. If you like um, the new Viking movie, the, yeah. new, the new Viking movie. If you like that sort of Norse mythology, if you like incredible violence, if you like seeing Anna Taylor Joy without wearing clothes, um, oh, just her butt. It's still. You've seen it? No, <laughs> I've seen that clip. Oh, <laughs> it's all he needed to see. Um, and if you like, a, I might look up that clip. <laughs> I don't think it's anything special. If you like I mean, watching a, a movie of the story <laughs> that inspired Hamlet, according to Rima, who was an English teacher, and I believe her, okay. um, it was a good it's movie. Been to wrong, trivia sometimes on that stuff. So, <sighs> well, actually, the last Shakespeare one, she was wrong. So, Ooh. I don't know if I can believe anything that Rima says. Sean, she's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Rima on a Pizza My Life this, episode eighty-two. Are you posting this tomorrow or Wednesday? Yeah, on, on Wednesday. Okay, so, so she'll have she'll, some trivia. time to listen to it. And she'll she listen get to, to this part. one. She won't get it all Tell the way to, get to the end. Say, yeah. there's a special surprise for Rima at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sean's—he's only got one arm right now, yeah. so he's vulnerable to attacks. Okay, let's be real though. <laughs> Rima comes at me. This is all I'm doing. <laughs> I can't, I can't even defend yeah, that's, oh, all, that's all I'm doing. I would like to see that. That would definitely set back your surgery and your recovery. But uh, yeah. You think, no, if just you, this? Yeah, no, you in a cage match against Rima. One I arm. think, uh, I I think, think she's that. at least getting some hits in. And it's setting back your recovery. I feel, well, okay. Rima will love this. The album. tough thing about this, <laughs> the tough thing about this is like, I can't, I am, obviously I can't like fight back. So it's a, it's a pure defensive play the entire time. Yeah. You got kicks though. No, but I'm not going to fight back. But in this situation, you're in a fight to the death. Then I, I would win this in a minute. I cannot wait till Wednesday <laughs> when would... I'm at work and I just get an unprompted text that goes, "What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What a topic!" I'm always team. Oh, I'm always team Reams. But if this is a fight to the death, yeah, and like you can't be team Reams. And there's no, there's no like repercussions of you know hitting someone. I'm doing a swift kick to Rima and she's flying. Yeah, like, it's done. If Rima has a baseball bat. I think that yeah, evens the odds. Things. I, uh, that changes the betting odds. Again, I'll, I think Remo will take one swipe at the bait with the baseball bat. <laughs> I'll catch it because it's not going to be that hard of a swipe. And yeah. I'll just yank it, and then that's gone. And then you've got a baseball bat. I don't even need it. I think one swift kick, and it's done. Remo's going to love this shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's turn that into the bonus content. Please, yeah. let's turn that into the bonus content. Yeah, Ian's going to text me in like two hours and be like, hey, actually, can you cut that? From the episode? <laughs> can you just cut that going to be real disappointed that, she would, that Tron thinks that he would beat her. Yeah, so I told Reem about that uh, topic, and uh, she said, um, please don't post that. Reem, again, I, say this, I want to say this in context. This is only if it's a fight to the death, and it's you or me, and it's either like one of us has to die. Yeah. 
then it's no, you're not holding back. If this is like a third, <laughs> if this is like a three minute, just like, hey, let's just survive the ring. Some rough and rowdy. I'm, I'm just pushing out to the side. Yeah, not engaged. Nothing. Yeah, but if this is a fight to the death and like not like our families are dying otherwise, sorry. Winner gets Ian. <laughs> sorry, come live with me. <laughs> Ian, we appreciate <laughs> you being on the podcast. I think I do too. <laughs> I like how that just turned at the end there. <laughs> that will wrap it up for episode 81. See you on, see you on episode 130. <laughs> oh, Guys, you can email us at apmlpod at gmail.com. Who do you think would win in a fight of uh, Sean versus Rima? Let us know in the comments. Uh, email us. Follow us on all the I socials. Both arms would be even quicker. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't an argument <laughs> uh, make sure you follow us on facebook twitter instagram we're on all of those we appreciate it all the likes the subscribes all of that so thank you guys for listening thank you for watching we'll see you next time peace out can't wait for Rima's text oh, she God. brandon fraser <laughs>